Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's keep going with our analysis of the gold market. So in weekend, based on the recent performance that we've got on Friday, we have acknowledged that bearers have lost the control, short term control over the market. It's just because even nominal trend already has turned bullish on a daily chart. We do not have any bearish directional patterns. It means that we do not have the background for taking the short position. So now we're not considering, although in the longer term perspective, fundamental background, as we said, and we talked about this in two weeks, in the fundamental report remains difficult for the gold market. But for now, as you can see, market is keep going after Friday's reversal session has been formed. Everything here stands mostly the same as we discussed yesterday. This market is climbing higher. So as we suggested uh, also yesterday that we do not expect that market should drop too much just because in this case it will totally erase the Friday rally, which is doesn't correspond to the idea of the bullish market. And we suggest that it should be either to the, to the two possible levels is the 2030 and confluence around 2020. So this scenario has worked pretty nice, as you will see on the fall time frame chart. You can see that market is climbing higher right now. Retracement was very small. 618 for this most up, uh, recent up prediction and now we're coming to the second stage of our plan um, mostly stands around this target this is next destination point which will be so uh, cop of this a b city pattern and actually perfectly agrees with the 2048 last 618 resistance level and hold down reaction once it, this level will be reached probably market should show some response because it's uh, not really very weak level so it's rather strong and it's uh, naturally a market should respond on this uh, resistance level forming some pullback for us uh, this pullback might be interesting it's just because well this might be the part of this head and shoulders pattern so we suggested with this upper prediction that maybe right arm is not in place yet markets could keep going high and in this case if we reach the cop we could get some kind of the neckline of this type and this pullback here is might start forming the right arm so the bulls if you haven't taken position yesterday and uh, now you you need to wait uh, when the next pullback will happen if somehow market will not show any reaction at this level which now seems not very probable but still if it will happen or if reaction will be very small we could get larger pattern later so this kind of the nested doll head for the hand and shoulders is uh, so it was very typical with, for this passion. So first we could get hand shoulders right on the bottom, but later this passion could become just the head of this larger passion. So we can see this might be shoulder as well, head, and later when the market completes the OP around 2066, this will also be the neckline, we could get the more or less significant bounce. So after 2048, the next target will be OP is 2066. If market will show no reaction, for now, we're just watching for this level uh, and this market is aiming to this target. On the lower time frame, you could see what has happened recently. Market has shown the pullback precisely to the confidence that we have specified. So this was the reaction to the 30% support, minor pullback and then downside continuation. In fact, here we have got this GPO to buy. So from that standpoint, everything goes just well. On the top, theoretically, we could get the butterfly. So if you have missed the entry here, but you still would like to take the long position, just keep watching. If you will see that market start forming in the shape of the butterfly, you also could uh, try to take the position. And in this case, it even might be better just because you will be able to place tight stop that should be somewhere below these lows. The bullish context also stands around the performance in the beginning of the week. So if you carefully will take a look at the price action, that was gap down at the opening on Monday. Yes, the market just closed this gap, dropped, setting the lows of the week. And now take a look, market is moving higher above the opening price of the week. This is bullish performance. 
and it suggests that uh, chances on upward continuation look significant. So that being said, there's a bottom line. For the bears, there's nothing to do. For the bulls, those who have taken position here, you could keep them. This is obvious. Those who would like to buy with the target around 248, you could just keep watching. Maybe the butterfly here will be formed. In this case, you probably should get the chance to take position somewhere around 2030, 2032 area. Uh, if this chance will not be formed, market rallies right to the COP. In this case, we will have just one option. Hope that we will get the drop to forming the right arm. If not, then the next reaction down we could get only from this level. So in this case, bulls will have to wait for the next entry opportunity. That's actually all that we have currently on the gold. Let's see how the situation will turn.